This video of COVID-19 testing at the Minnesota Department of Health lab was taken the same day the state confirmed its first case, March 6th. The first case in the United States was confirmed in Washington State in January. But when the virus first started circulating, that date is a big question mark. I, I don't think anyone really knows when this virus made its way to the United States. Dr. Mark Schleiss is a professor of pediatrics at the U of M. His research of viruses in newborns has amassed a collection of 20,000 infant saliva samples dating back to 2017, all anonymous, all asymptomatic. When COVID-19 came on the scene, we thought, well, gosh, this might be a very interesting resource to look at. Schleiss is testing some of the samples for COVID-19. If he finds it, that could help answer questions about infection in young children and possible transmission of COVID-19 from mother to unborn baby. But the samples spanning back well before the virus was confirmed in Minnesota also serve as a sort of timeline. We want to look uh, over a period of a few months from late 2019 into uh, the spring of 2020 to see if we can pinpoint a time when we might have seen the infection appear in Minnesota. Schleiss's guess is that point is a lot earlier than March 6th. I believe that the virus likely was circulating in Minnesota uh, prior to the first of the year uh, in, in, in late 2019. Jennifer Austin, CARE 11 News. Dr. Schleiss says pinpointing when the virus was circulating is important because studying samples from early cases could teach researchers more about the evolution of this strain.